Hi, my name's Janet Wilson, and I have two flow hives on my roof in Del Mar, California. I've been actively keeping the bees since April. Last fall, I started taking classes and learning about it. And the reason I started learning about beekeeping was because I'd heard about the flow hive. And I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. And I was researching it and learned about it and showing my husband, and he got me one for Christmas. So I was pretty excited. Well, I have two. The first one was I requeened and they didn't like her, so I had to requeen again. So I had three queens in one of the hives. And then the other hive, we had just moved up to the second box and I decided to have it be two brood boxes. And they'd been up for about 10 days and my husband came home and all of the foragers were dead. They had acute poisoning from somebody spraying pesticides on a flowering bush. It was, it was pretty devastating. And it, uh, it's been almost a month now, and they're still struggling. The hive bees were okay. The poisoning was so acute that the nectar didn't get transferred into the hive, or not very much got transferred in. So we're hopeful they'll make it, but we're still keeping a close eye on them. Everybody should have a bee mentor, just like Hillary. She's fantastic. So today it's been about a month since the poisoning incident and Hillary came over and we did an inspection to see how their food supplies were going because about four days ago um, I started feeding them. So we we're feeding them simple syrup of sugar and water and we wanted to check to make sure the queens were still laying and that the overall health was okay. We lost all the foragers, we lost all the older field bees. And now we've got a lot of young bees in here and some of them are still showing signs of being poisoned because I assume some of the field bees made it back and fed it to them. So it's kind of in their, in their hive a little bit. I think they are gonna bounce back, but it's a little bit troubling to see some still skipping. I feel great about having them and it's given me the opportunity to educate friends and family, which I really enjoy doing. In fact, because of the poisoning incident, I went down to the city council in our village here in Del Mar, and they put out a citywide alert to let everybody know to not to spray flowering bushes and plants. And we have flyers that are going to be mailed out, and I'm going to be hosting a Meet the Beekeeper at my house for any neighbors who are interested in learning more about bees or have concerns. They may not understand and feel nervous, and this will be a chance to educate those people too. How cool was that? We've got lots of sweet stories coming up each week, so if you want to be up to date, hit the subscribe button below. <laughs>